Now here's another example where we're going to be working with a truth table. Construct a truth table for the statement. Not P and Q, if and only if, not P or not Q. We notice there are only two simple statements that we're going to be working with. We have statement P and we have statement Q. We begin our truth table in the usual fashion. We're going to fill in true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Let's work inside the first set of parentheses. We're going to connect P and Q. An AND statement is true only when both parts are true. So we'll have true, false, false, false. Now we want the negation of that conjunction. We look at the column we just filled in and take the opposite truth values. We'll have false, true, true, true. Now we'll work on the second set of parentheses. Notice that we have the negation of P and the negation of Q connected with the disjunctive R. We'll start by writing a column for not P. We take the opposite truth values of our first column. We now need the negation of Q. We'll take the opposite truth values of our second column. Now we want to put these two together with R. An R statement is false only when both parts are false, as occurs in our first row. False or true will be true. True or false is true. True or true is true. Now finally, we're looking at a biconditional where we look at the column that's indicated here and the column that's indicated here. We can have then the negation of P and Q if and only if the negation of P or the negation of Q. We will now have the biconditional, which is true as long as both parts have the same truth value. That'll be true, 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 true. We end up with a tautology.